Hello everyone! In today's video, we will be talking about multiplying and dividing monomials. Here are the words to learn. Can you repeat after me? Prerequisite, distributive, polynomial, expressions, simplify. First, let us have multiplying monomials. In chapter 1, you've learned about the laws of indices. These laws are prerequisite to continue further about multiplying sets of monomials. These are the prerequisite knowledge. So a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. This is the product law. And if we have a times the quantity b plus c is equal to a b plus b c, which is the distributive property. And we have negative times negative, which is equal to positive. Positive times positive, which is equal to positive. Negative times positive or positive times negative is equal to negative. These are the rules of multiplying integers. So take note that when multiplying monomial by another monomial, first multiply the coefficients and then add the powers of the same variables. Now let us have some examples for this one. Supposing we need to multiply 4 times 3c. In here, we are going to multiply 4 times 3, then keep the variable c. So we have 12c, since 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Now let us have 2a times negative 5b. In here, we are going to multiply 2 times negative 5, and then a times b. 2 times negative 5 is equal to what? Correct. It is equal to negative 10. So therefore, the answer is negative 10 AB. Now let us have another one. So supposing we have negative 5x squared y times negative 3xy to the second. So in here, we are going to multiply negative 5 times negative 3 times x squared times x times y times y to the second. Negative 15 times negative 3 is equal to positive 15. Then we are going to add the exponents. So we have x raised to 2 plus 1 times y raised to 1 plus 2. So simplifying further, we get 15x to the third, y to the third. Now let us have another one. So 2 times 9x squared, y set to the third times negative x to the fifth, y set to the second. In here, we are going to have 2 times 9 times negative 1. So remember that any variable without coefficient, it means it is equal to 1. So we have negative x, so we have negative 1. Times x squared times x to the fifth times y times y times set to the third times set to the second. Multiplying further, we get negative 18 times x raised to 2 plus 5 times y raised to 1 plus 1 times set raised to 3 plus 2. Simplifying further, we get negative 18, x to the 7, y to the 2nd, set to the 5th. Please remember that when multiplying monomial by a polynomial is to multiply each term of the polynomial by the monomial using distributive property. And what is polynomial? So polynomial is a word for two or more monomials separated by plus or minus sign. So supposing we have 2 times 3x plus 12. In here, we are going to distribute 2 inside the parentheses. So we will be getting 2 times 3x plus 2 times 12. Simplifying further, we get 6x plus 12. Now let us have another one. Supposing we have 7x times the quantity 3x to the third minus 4y. So in here, we are going to distribute 7x inside the parentheses. So we will be getting 7x times 3x to the third plus 7x times negative 4y. In doing this so, we will gonna multiply 7 times 3 times x raised to 1 plus 3 plus 
7 times negative 4, xy. Simplifying further, we get 21x to the 4th minus 28xy. Now, let us have another one. So, we are going to multiply negative 2a squared b to 3ab to the 3rd plus 6a squared b to the 7th minus 2ab to the 3rd. So, in doing this, so we are going to distribute negative 2a squared b inside the parenthesis. And this will be the result of that. And then, we are going to simplify further. So, we get negative 6 times a raised to 2 plus 1, b raised to 1 plus 3, minus 12, a raised to 2 plus 2, times b raised to 1 plus 7. Then, we have plus 4 times a raised to 2 plus 1, b raised to 1 plus 3. Simplifying further, adding the exponents, we will be getting negative 6a to the 3rd, b to the 4th, minus 12a to the 4th, b to the 8th, plus 4a to the 3rd, b to the 4th. Since we have like terms here, we can combine them. So we need to add negative 6a to the 3rd, b to the 4th, plus 4a to the 3rd, b to the 4th. Simplifying further, we get negative 2a to the 3rd, b to the 4th, minus 12a to the 4th, b to the 8th. Since negative 6 plus 4 is equal to negative 2, and we keep the variables. Now let us go to dividing monomials. To divide monomial by a monomial, first divide the coefficients and then subtract the powers of the same variables. So these are the prerequisite knowledge that we need to know. a to the m divided by a to the n is equal to a raised to m minus n. This is the quotient law. And we have the rules for dividing integers. So remember that negative divided by negative is equal to positive. Positive divided by positive is equal to positive. Negative divided by positive is equal to negative. Positive divided by negative is equal to negative. Now, let us have an example. So, 25x to the 4th divided by 5. In here, let us divide the coefficients. So, 25 divided by 5, which is equal to 5. Then, x to the 4th. So, the final answer would be 5x to the 4th. Now, let us have another one. So, negative 8y to the 5th divided by 2y to the 3rd. So, in here, we have 8y to the 5th over 2y to the 3rd. So, sometimes we need to rewrite it. Now, let us have 8 divided by 2. Then, y raised to 5 minus 3. So, 8 divided by 2 is equal to what? Correct. It is equal to 4. So, we have 4y to the 3rd. Now, let us have another one. So, negative 49, a to the 7th, b to the 5th, divided by negative 7, a, b to the 2nd power. So, in here, we are going to rewrite it like this. So, sometimes, rewriting in this form would be easier. So, negative 49 divided by negative 7, a to raised to 7 minus 1, b raised to 5 minus 1. Simplifying further, we get... 7, a to the 6, b to the 2nd. Since negative 49 divided by negative 7 is positive 7. Now let us divide a polynomial by a monomial. So dividing a polynomial by a monomial is to divide each term of the polynomial by a monomial. So supposing we have a plus b plus c divided by z, it would be equal to a divided by z plus b divided by z plus c divided by z, where your z is not equal to zero because any number with a denominator of zero will become undefined. So let us have the first one. So the quantity 3a plus 6a squared divided by 3. So in here, we are going to rewrite like this, and then we are going to divide it by 3. So we have 3a divided by 3 plus 6a to the fifth over 3. So simplifying further, this one will become 1, and this one will become 2, and 3 will become 1. So we will be having a plus 2a to the fifth. 
Now let us have this one. So 24x to the 5th minus 8x to the 4th divided by 4x squared. So in here, we can rewrite this one and we have like this. So 24x to the 7th over 4x squared minus 8x to the 4th over 4x squared. Simplifying further, we can simplify this one. So 24 will become 6 and 4 will become 1. Then 8 will become 2, 4 will become 1. So we have 6x to the 5th minus 2x squared. So please do remember that if we are going to divide monomials with exponents, we just need to subtract the exponents. So let us have another one. Let us read all together. 65a to the 3rd, b to the 2nd, plus 30a squared, b to the 5th, minus 45a to the 4th, b to the 4th, divided by 5a squared b. So in here, let us separate each of the monomials. And then we are going to simplify. So we can cancel 65 and 5. 65 will become 13 and 5 will become 1. 30 will become 6 and 5 will become 1. 45 will become 9 and 5 will become 1. And then we are going to subtract the indices or the exponents. So we have 13ab plus 6b to the 4th minus 9a squared b to the 3rd. Now let us have another one. So let us read all together the given. 3x to the 3rd, y to the 4th, minus 8x to the 5th, y to the 3rd, minus 48x to the 4th, y to the 6th, over 4x to the 3rd, y to the 3rd. So in here, we are going to separate it, and we are going to simplify each. So simplifying further, in here, we are going to cancel 8 and 4. 8 will become 2, and 4 will become 1. 48 will become 12, and 4 will become 1. So simplifying further, we get 3 fourth y minus 2x squared minus 12xy to the third. Remember that x to the third divided by x to the third is equal to 1. And y to the third divided by y to the third is equal to 1. Now, let us have a short quiz. So find the product of 2a to the third plus 8a times negative a. I will give you five seconds to answer this one. Timer starts now. Time is up. That's right. The answer is negative 2a to the fourth minus 8a squared. Now let us have another one. Divide the following. I will give you five seconds to answer this one. Timer starts now. Time is up. That's right. The answer is 3x squared plus 2. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe my channel and see you again next time. Bye!